Hello there, and welcome to Aetherborn. This is a game I have been looking forward to for quite some time. It is a gravity-shifting puzzle game, and it looks amazing. The developers and publishers have kind of requested uh, that I don't record more than a little bit because the game is mostly puzzle, and the point of the game is solving those puzzles. And they, they said, you don't have to adhere to this, but we would just prefer that you do that, but it's totally up to me. And no, I, I respect that. I completely respect that. So we're not going to play the whole game. We're just going to do a small snippet so you can see what this game's about and then decide whether you want to pick it up. Can you hear me? Doubt. Destroy. Contemplate. Fall silent. Build. Listen, at last, to what has always existed, and was never there, and seek until your last breath the impossible pathway. Look for me. I'll show you how. I'll show you why. Follow my voice. This is stunning to look at. I really like this. Gotta jump. We gotta move. We got a beautiful pool. Also, you know, I'm a sort of skinless being. That's not a problem though. I don't need to pay notice to that. This is really cool. I think that this game is gonna be one of those games that sort of blows you away <laughs> the more you uh oh you can run ah yeah that is uh that is much faster <laughs> um oh oh we're about to discover what this game's about to do how how does it work oh that's right oh gravity you don't exist in this world I saw, I don't know how long I've been following this, but I saw a screenshot of something like this. Uh, it wasn't specifically this place, um, but it was about a year, maybe a year and a half ago. And I was just like, oh, I want to play this game. I desperately want to play this game. And my capture just like died for a sec there. Um, hopefully that's fine. Um, I'm sure it is. The, uh... I died! And that's where we're gonna have to learn how the mechanics work. Do you get it? Do you see how it works? You go around the, the corner and it's fine now. Haha. -ha. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Yeah, like my Elgato seems to have be crashing whenever I record with my PS4 every so often. I can't tell if it's my Elgato or my PS4. I hope it's neither, because both are very expensive, so <laughs> yay! Also, please not the PS4. PS5's coming out in like a year, so <laughs> that would be nice. But back to the game. Game's rad so far. I got a trophy for birth. What has never been, that which aches your entrails, is now tearing the earth, cracking the pavement, and spreading its roots, like shadows, over everything there is, but nobody wants to acknowledge. Not unlike the harsh woods, it rips apart the eyes of those who dare to look at it, and shows more paths than you could ever walk. This is its definition, an unfathomable threat, and nevertheless, a freedom of will brought to you, who struggle to be, but aren't. Interesting. 
It's such a beautiful game. And I'm really looking forward to seeing where this story goes. Because there have been so many wonderful indie games that have been so complex in telling a great story. But a lot of it through really sometimes subtle things and sometimes not so subtle. But it's really cool to unravel the the story behind it. I think Everything one which was really beautiful. All the angst you feel has always been there. It's been, along with you and all of us, hidden from our senses as an incomprehensible event. Nonetheless, bound into our skin. Interesting. Yeah, one of the games that really did that to me was Rhyme. Rhyme was a gorgeous game. And it it covered the five stages of grief in its level design. It was really, really cool. It was really, really cool. So, here we are. Let's get into the meat of the game. As I say, I don't want to play too much, because to play too much will be to spoil it for you. Um, I believe this game is separated into a set number of chapters, I think five. Um, so I think I'll just do this chapter and we'll leave it there. Um, but I need to find four gorgeous little cube things. I don't know what, what shape that exactly is. How many, it's a lot of sides. Oh, this music's gorgeous. I really like this music. It's it's such a cool game though. Like it just it it looks visually really cool. I can't remember. Oh, oh man, what's it called? There's like a um. It's not the same kind of game exactly, but there's a uh, um a mobile game where you sort of like tap parts of the environment um to. It's a puzzle game. Tap parts of the environment to, I guess, manipulate it and move on it. I forget what it's called, but very different game. But the art style reminds me of it. Um, I, the name completely escapes me. I've only played it like once or twice. Um, but yeah, it's. Oh God, I love the colours. Stunning, stunning to look at. Hmm. Can I walk across here? I can. Excellent. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, we're back here. Ah, I see. Nice. I feel like I missed a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check back here. Yeah, I must have missed stuff. Look, there's a bunch of roots over here. Or a root, but it doesn't really lead to anything. Why do I not believe you, game? <laughs> I don't believe you at all. There must be more to this. There's always more than meets the eye. Okay, not always, but there's often more than meets the eye. Okay, so I've got one of the pieces. What happens if I put one of them in? Still need another. I don't have two, do I? No. Can I take the one from here? Maybe. I can. Oh, I see. Ah, there we go. Cool, 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 cool. Look at that. That is awesome. Alright, onwards we go. I'm going to platinum this game. No matter how hard it is, I'm going to platinum it. I love it. I love it. It's such a beautiful game. The music is really charming. And very elegantly powerful. I think this is what I saw a while back. Oh! Oh no! Oh, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I think this area is what I saw. 
Yeah, I accidentally stepped off the uh, the cliff. That's totally my bad. Um, so how do I do this? Where do I go that's safe? Because I understand the principle. I wonder, can I do something like that? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. Like, it's not a difficult puzzle, but it's already, like, significantly harder than the first one. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it isn't a challenge, per se. But we are... We are reaching a slightly new territory, which is cool. Let me, um... Let me see, how do I get back? I gotcha. Oh, I didn't notice the floor there is curved. Oh, I didn't notice that. I should have. Oh, that's brilliant. But I'll go down before I go back up. Yeah, there's items here. Oh, how do I get that? I need to fall into it. I assume it will be easier once I unmask exactly what I can fall from. I'll start with that. Aha. Okay. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I screwed up, but I got it. I understand. Um. Yeah, the, the gravity mechanics are weird. Not in the respect that they're bad, but it's just like, it's going to take time to adjust. Just because it's not... There aren't many games where you have to move like this. You know? And adjusting to that is odd. Just because, you know, it's, it's like it's like adjusting to VR in a sense. Adjusting to VR is weird, because it's not something you do. There we go. Oh, that's cool! Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, that explains how you get that. And now I see how we get this. And is that going to complete the bridge? It sure is. Oh, that's so cool. Is it intentionally spelling out an E with the, uh, with the curved bits? For Etherborn? Maybe, maybe not. Just something I observed. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. We're on the wrong side. Now, how do I do that? How blind I have been! <laughs> how blind I have been! It's so easy. It's probably for the best I'm not doing a full playthrough. Because I'm terrible at puzzles. <laughs> My brain does not work well with puzzles. I don't know why, because I'm not bad with logic, usually. But I'm terrible at puzzles. <laughs> but I love them. I'm not going to stop playing them. I love the greenhouse. It's so cool. Ooh, I'm missing one. Where am I missing one? Okay. Let's zoom out. Let's take a look. What am I missing? Oh, it's such a pretty environment. Just half expecting one to be, uh... There we go! I was half expecting one to be in the, uh, the fog or something. Can I crawl? No. How do you want me to do this? I have a feeling I sort of know. Is there a way to curve around? Yeah, there it is. Awesome. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. That. 
I wonder how long it took to get these mechanics right. Because it's complex. Oh dear. Well, that might not be a bad thing. Hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's so complex. Setting all this up. It's really impressive. It's really interesting, like, reviewing things. I don't know why this came to my mind, but like, when you review something, it's gonna be something that's seen by how many people end up watching it. And, like, you always see what other people gave it, because there's like a curiosity. Like, oh, was I right in my my convictions of the game, you know. Um, and it's kind of a bad mentality to have. Because your thoughts and opinions of the game are your own. No one can take that away from you. If you fell in love with the story because it moved you, then that's fantastic. If you... Um, if you... You know... Um, I don't want to describe this. If you enjoyed the gameplay because it was original to you, you would personally never played anything like it. Whoops. Um, then again, that's fantastic. But there's always going to be someone in in the review world, possibly because they don't like a certain type of game, or possibly possibly because they were having a bad time in their life when they were playing it, and whether they like to admit it or not, that seeped through to their review. There's there's always going to be a bunch of people who didn't agree with what you agreed with, or weren't even in the same ballpark, you know. Um, and that's really weird, because it, it does, as a reviewer, sort of mess with you. Like, oh, am I wrong to think this way? Should my convictions be different? Should I have agreed with what they thought? I thought this game was bad, and they thought it was good. Am I in the wrong here? They thought it was good... They, they, I thought it was good and they thought it was bad. Like, do, what have I, what am I missing? What about this game did I, did I miss? Was there a key message that I should have looked at? You know. That kind of thing can happen. And it's weird. It messes with you. Um, I'm, I don't know what I'm missing though. Um, um, it, it can mess with you. Oh, that kills you. I mean, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing. Uh, but yeah, it's weird, it can mess with you. And it's happened a couple of times, I've been like, oh, I really, really like this game. And then like, IGN and GameSpot and stuff gave it like a 5. I'm just like, but, but why did they give it a 5? <laughs> I don't understand. Um, and I'm not saying that's going to happen with this game. Um, I think this game is really cool. Um, well, as of right now, I mean, I assume it will be great for the rest of it. Um, oh, am I being really stupid? Yeah. Yeah, I sure am. Yeah, I sure am. Um, Jesus. Um, see, I'm terrible at puzzles, and that's the end. <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just fascinating to think about. Um, like what what when what what's different here? Uh, and I think at the end of the day, whatever you believe to be right when you review a game, even if everyone thinks you're wrong. Wasn't even the Never let go of power. that. The universe ruthlessly took the human being by the neck, dragged them to an abyss, and cast them down, without any warning, amidst fire, stone, and water. Their naked and convalescent bodies shook among sharp rocks, only sheltered by cold and mist. The sky arose magnificently above them, and with every abrupt thunder they became more aware of their fragile physique. Every gust of wind warned them that their bones could be reduced to ashes, if the sky decided so. Then, horrified by everything and by the nothingness, humans gazed upon what they'd be, what they weren't, and what they could never become. Huh. Interesting. This is really cool. I really like this game. 
I guess we've opened up another path. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's really, really cool. I love that you're moving along the branches. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Oh, that's awesome. But I think this might be where we end it for now. Just because I don't want to give any more away. Even though the way I gave puzzles away was haphazard at best. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think this game is fantastic. And I hope everyone else does as well. I think there's a... Th if I had to give any complaints... I have two very minor gripes, and that's that the lighting changes are kind of, like, abrupt at times. Like, it's, like, the camera sort of moves away from where, like, the mist or whatever is is placed, so it sort of disappears briefly. Not a big deal, doesn't bother me, but it's just a thing that I noticed. Um, and I guess when you change between a surface, um, so, say so you're moving forward and then you're going sideways, um, the shift, you move a lot faster in those couple of seconds, and that's kind of uh, jarring at times. Very minor, very minor issue. I think the game is gorgeous. I think it's telling an interesting story, and I want to know more. Uh, I really want to see what the other puzzles have in store for me. Um, and I hope that the game does really well. Um, but yeah, I just, I guess, uh, I, I just... The chill nature of this game just got me pondering... Uh, like, the review atmosphere. Like, it's so easy to be overswept by so many much larger reviewers or larger companies being like, no, your idea is wrong. This is the right idea because we give it sixes and you, why did you give it nines? Or whatever. But I should never apologize or, or back down from my thoughts. Because I've almost done that in the past, been like, oh man, I'm seeing loads of people giving it this. Maybe I should reconsider how I feel about the game and that's a terrible idea because how I feel about the game has no bearing on what they felt I the story might be about like for example a, a dead family member and because I'm in a grieving process it actually emotionally moved me in a way that kind of helped whereas someone else it might have emotionally crippled them, you know, and that's gonna affect their score, because how could you possibly look at that from an objective point, you know, <laughs> like, it's impossible, emotions move people, there's no way to stop that from happening, you can't, you can't pull back out of the glass box to, to be like, oh yeah, no, I'm doing that, you, you physically, it's just not possible when something is so drastically affecting you. And I think that the uh, the gaming industry is, is filled with with a glass box and a person trapped inside it. That's 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 my analogy on the industry. There you go, the glass box, I guess. That, that's how I'm going to describe it. I think I think that's the reviewing scene. And uh Yeah, I uh I very much enjoyed this. I'm really looking forward to seeing, um, seeing how people take it, and I'm really looking forward to uh, playing more of it because I really think it's cool. I think it's a stunning game. Um, I'm I'm currently on the eight or nine out of ten spectrum. I think possibly I don't know what it's going to be. I think it's quite a short game, um, which may be a hindrance in a, in its own right. But I think it's also a very, very beautiful game, um, and it's, it's it's telling something quite spectacular. I love the character, as sort of creepy as it is, it's it's lovely. As I love the the, the sound effect ambience here. It's like a it's almost like owls hooting with reverb, or it's almost like what you'd sort of like. It's like a heartbeat going off, but like. Like in in a distant corridor with a pitch shift of sorts, like it just it sounds really, it's just really cool. But yeah, I think we're we'll here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>